Hey guys, I am here with Minnesota softball coach and Duluth native Jamie Traxel. Jamie, this is just your second year here at the U, but you've experienced the Supers firsthand with mm -hmm. your time at North Dakota. This is an unfamiliar situation for your players. What advice have you given them heading into this weekend? You know that it's not, the game never changes. The game doesn't know who's supposed to win. The game doesn't change. It's still a game of execution. It's just, you know, how can you handle the magnitude of the situation and all the emotions that come um, with playing on a stage like this. And luckily for us, we've had a lot of good weekends that have prepared us for this, including our Northwestern series that was at home where our fans were showed up and, you know, we were selling out and they had great energy to the conference tournament and then obviously hosting regionals last weekend. So we've had some good tests and good reference points in um, the past few weeks that have prepared us for this weekend. And you guys dominated Georgia. You're on to another mm -hmm. SEC powerhouse in LSU today. Mm -hmm. What are you expecting out of this series? Well, I don't know if we dominated Georgia. Um, you know, we got the wins and we found two different ways to win, which has been the strength of our team this year is that we can, you know, we have a lot of confidence in, in every area of our game. And um, LSU is a little different offense that we'll have to defend against. And so they're a little bit more speed. Um, they'll use more short game. And I think something that will be key for us is defending inside 60 feet from the plate back because they are a team that bunts and they want to pressure the defense and they want to create chaos and they want to apply pressure to you so that you end up cracking. And uh, so we're going to keep it really simple. We'll try to really attack those lead outs and defend scoring position and make sure the game doesn't get too fast for us. And I want to talk about Amber Pfizer really quickly yeah. because she has been absolutely phenomenal, especially last weekend. Yeah. What's been working for her? She's just gotten better each and every year, you know, um, and obviously she had a storied high school career and got to college and Piper Ritter, our pitching coach, has done a great job with her. And each year, Pfizer's gotten better and she's continued to challenge herself throughout the season um, and you know for everything she's done for this program this year like we always say when she has the ball we have a chance to win and she's she's proven that and she's given us that opportunity each um, each game that she's had the ball and um, <laughs> and the players are getting ready to roll here um, you know and so that'll be no difference but our job as a defense is to make sure that we serve and protect our, and defend our president whoever's on the mound then and then offensively we want to put up some runs to to give them a little bit of a lead but you know um, she's been tremendous this year and a huge credit to her for helping us get where we are and what would a trip to Oklahoma City mean <laughs> for you and this group I think it's all the same it's the dream you know it's why we do what we do it's why you work so hard and you sacrifice and commit to the love on what you do um, you know but uh, that's that's a vision. That's the dream. And we heard a, a cool quote from our football coach this week. And it, it's a man who's distracted is a man who's defeated. And so, yes, the dream is Oklahoma City, but our focus is on LSU. And the way we'll approach it is making sure we have a good game plan against LSU. But um, we're just here to win the series. It's a two out of three win the series. And whoever does outplay their opponent and is able to get the two wins will advance and extend their season. And you, like I said earlier, are a Duluth native. You went to Central, yeah. got quite a bit of RC letters <laughs> over there. Yeah. How did your time in Duluth and at Central lead you to where you are today? You know, I'm grateful for every part of my journey. Um, I loved every part of it. I loved high school. I loved college. I loved every place that I've been. I know you never get where you are in life alone. And so there's so many people to thank along the way. Um, and... I'm grateful for it, you know, a lot of good friends, a lot of good memories, and, and that's what I tend, and hopefully we have a few more memories that we can make this weekend as well. Thanks so much, Coach. Best of luck.